Hello guys, welcome to this new episode. Today we are going to see how to set up a slider and uh, indicators in uh, Flutter. I like to use IntelliJ, but you are free to use Android Studio or, or Visual Studio Code. First of all, I like to delete all this boilerplate code and also the dar test file to avoid that annoying error. And so after these two operations, we can start with, uh, with the code. So we need to import the material package. Then we are going to set up the main method in which we run our app and the new material app. You know in Dart 2.0 you can avoid to write every time new, new, new. So I'm not doing this. So we define our ROM. As of now it's null because we don't have either a stateful or a stateless widget. So let's create a new stateful widget in which we define our main activity and assign it to our home. So then uh, as default this main activity returns a container. So it's not needed but to make it a little bit nicer we are going to define a new scaffold. So an app bar with a title and let's think about something really creative for this title maybe it could be a slider and uh, indicators very very creative and then we can define our body in which we create a new column that takes as children widgets so we will add the slider and then we will see how to add the linear progress indicator and circular progress indicator. So in a container we define our slider and we can see that our slider takes, requires two parameters, a value and a method on change. So first of all let's define our variable value. We make a new private double called value and we give it an initial value of 0, 0.0. Then we define our method change that takes a value and in it we define our set state. So every time the slider change it is going to assign the new value to the private variable we define with the name value. So we can set now these new parameters value and on change and uh, let's build this up and see if everything works fine. So, it's building. I usually run the app on uh, an emulator, an iPhone X, uh, but you can run it on Android. You know, with Flutter it's easy to create cross-platform app. So as you so everything works fine. Let's wrap this container in a padding and give a default value of 10. And to see how this value change, let's print it out with a debug print. So you can see that every time the pointer and slider change, this value can vary continuously between uh, 0 and 1, as you can see. So as of now, uh, it's pretty straightforward and easy. So now it's time to see how to add a linear progress indicator. Again, we define a new container with the, and it, its child is a linear progress indicator. And it requires a value where again, it takes the same value of the slider. So every time the slider change, also the linear progress indicator change. And also let's wrap it in a padding so we can see easily on the, on the emulator screen. So let's give it a not reload. And you can see that everything is working fine. Now there is a little bit of, let's say it's a little bit tricky because to define the background colors, you can assign directly a colors. So colors dot, in this case, we just red and you can see how it works. But to define the main color, 
It doesn't take directly a color, but we have to define an animation. So I like to use an always stop animation that in which we can define our code. In this case, to make it easy to see, we define a new color, green. And so also our linear progress indicators is well defined and set. Look how is it smooth. Now in a new container we can uh, uh, set our circular progress indicator and this let's say <clears throat> really really similar to the linear progress indicator so I'm not going to change the color but I'm only going to assign it a value so you can see uh, how it works. Also the padding to make it a little bit nicer and then let's spot reload it. No, okay, I'm doing a, a mistake here because I'm trying to save the state of my emulator. Now I'm not reloading it and as you can see everything works fine. So let me know what do you think in the comment section below and if you like the video please hit uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye!